Welcome back! We are talking to Dr. John, and we're learning all kinds of stuff about voodoo. Currently we're talking about Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen of New Orleans. Oh. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. Her daughter, Marie Glapion, took over when the widow Paris got old. Most people thought it was the same Marie Laveau. Both Maries encouraged that point of view. The widow Paris died in 1881. Marie Glapion had been reigning a long time by then. After the death of the widow Paris, other voodoo queens surfaced, and by 1890, the cult was fragmented again. Marie Glapion just sort of faded away. That's kind of a shame, I suppose. Maybe, I don't know. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. The Laveau tomb, where one or both of the Maries are believed to be buried, is in St. Louis Cemetery No. 1. It is a popular shrine for practitioners and tourists alike. I myself take tours through the cemetery on a regular basis. Really? Do you have any running this week? No. But the cemetery is open to the general public as well. Indeed, we've been there. Thought it might uh, pay off to go back and see if the uh, watchman there knows anything about Marie Laveau. After all, her tomb is there. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. You have heard everything about Marie Laveau that a layman might expect. To understand. All right. Let's ask about current voodoo then. Tell me about current voodoo. Many people think of voodoo in terms of magic spells or grigri. That kind of practice is actually called voodoo and is only a part of true voodoo. Voodoo, the religion, has a strong following in New Orleans. In fact, it is growing quite rapidly. There are several voodoo churches or temples in the city, and others all across the United States. African Americans see it as a tradition all their own. Whites, and there are many in their religion, are attracted to it because they think it is exotic. I, personally, am more interested in the history of voodoo. Some of the new movements are copying Haitian or even African voodoo. But, it is the voodoo of New Orleans that I find so intriguing. Are you sure you don't know anything more about this? Tell me more about current voodoo. There are many voodooans in New Orleans. They often do business selling Grigri, telling fortunes, providing luck, and occasionally misfortune. Perhaps you would like to meet a voodooan. We refer those who seek a deeper experience with voodoo to a local practitioner, Majensha Moonbeam. Sure, I'd love to meet her. She lives on the corner of Orleans and Dauphine. I will call her and tell her you might stop by. Great, thanks. That is useful. But uh, he won't know any more about current voodoo. We'll have to ask this Madam Moonbeam. Nice name. Um, we can ask him about Malia Getty, although I don't really know why, because we have no real reason to think he would know her. But still. Do you know Malia Getty? Should I? But she referred me to your museum. Many have read about our museum in the newspapers, Mr. Knight. That's a good point. Okay, I suppose she did... Uh, talk about the museum. Well, she more suggested that there might be a museum. That's a bit of a far stretch from saying that she actually referred to this museum. Hoodoo, then, is the only topic left. Is there anything else I should know about hoodoo? Not if your interest is primarily in voodoo. Hoodoo is of interest to those who study rural folk traditions, but it will not aid you in understanding true voodoo. Is there anything else I should know about hoodoo? Not if your interest is primarily in voodoo. Hoodoo. I guess not then. 
But we got a new address to visit. And he was a lot of help. We learned a lot about voodoo today. Which I'm sure Thanks will be lot, useful. Thanks a lot, Come back again. I'm sure we will. Feeling this ain't the last time. Um, let's go to uh, St. Louis Cemetery number one and see if uh, the groundskeeper knows anything about Marie Laveau and her tomb. There's a new location that has opened up, the Moonbeam Residence, so we'll go there after we've been to the cemetery. I'm sorry to bother you. What you need, boy? Mind if I pick your brain a minute? Go ahead. These folks ain't in no hurry. By the way, I noticed recently that um, if you watch Stellar's funeral scene in Space Quest 6, the guy who digs her grave, or zaps it, or whatever, looks an awful lot like uh, uh, this guy. I doubt that's a coincidence. Um, Alright, let's see if he knows anything about Marie Laveau. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Sure, sure. She was the voodoo queen of New Orleans. A powerful voodooine and a powerful sorceress. Believers still come to her tomb, you know. They write secret marks on the walls, leaving offerings in there. Then there's the tourists. They come out of curiosity. As a matter of fact, that big Dr. John fella from the Voodoo Museum, he's here at least once today. But Marie Laveau's tomb ain't the only one the believers visit and make markings and leave offerings at. He's here once a day, it seems uh, very often. Uh, what other tombs get markings, I wonder? You said there were other marked tombs? <laughs> yep. I seen bull hearts left on tombs and a nest of vulture feathers, plates of peas and corn green, animal parts, human parts even, it looked like. Male parts, if you get my meaning. Ouch. And this at one of the great family crypts, mind you. Odd how them types just pick a spot and stick to it. One of the great family crypts? Like which one? There's only one great family crypt uh, that I know of here, and that's the Getty uh, tomb. What other tombs get marked? Can you show me? No, 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 I ain't one for naming names. I don't like to encourage that kind of thing. It's distressing to the families, and rightly so. Don't know how that sort of thing gets started. Why folks come to start leaving stuff at that one spot. But it happens all the same. Oh, well, fair enough. Anything else you know about Marie Laveau? What else can you tell me about Marie Laveau? Her tombs on all our tombs. Even the Baptists come round here to gawk. Cause, you may not know this, but some of the real serious voodoo types argue that she ain't in this one at all. But down in an unmarked tomb in number three. It's all the same to me, I say. Save me a lot of cleanup work if she weren't here, if you ask me. Yeah, I guess, uh... Those markings don't make your job any easier. What else can you tell me about Marie Laveau? Boy, go out and buy a book if you really want to know. I ain't too sure my facts these days know how. Alright, well at least we learned some stuff. So, let's, uh pay a visit to Madam Moonbeam, who might know more about current voodoo in New Orleans. Who's an actual voodooin, it seems, even. Welcome, Seeker. You must be the one Dr. John called me about. I guess so. My name is... Wait. Gabriel Nye? <laughs> You're too quick for me. I guess Dr. John told her? Actually, Dr. John told me. You have come to the right place, Mr. Knight. 
Tell me how I can help. Interesting looking place. The Moonbeam residence looks like a cross between a voodoo temple and a Victorian fortune teller's parlor by way of Hate Street. <laughs> sure. Whatever that means. My gentle Moonbeam is wrapped in gauze and silks. She looks vaguely mysterious and mysteriously vague. Nice turn of phrase. And another snake! A large, sluggish snake rests on the floor of the fancy birdcage. Apparently, Magenta is not a fastidious housekeeper. A shed skin shares the cage with its original owner. What is it with all these snakes? I've had it with these motherfucking snakes in these motherfucking games! Can we take the shed skin? Magentia snakes looks a little sickly, but Gabriel would still rather not stick his hand in the cave. I guess not. It might actually be interesting to get a look at that, though, and compare it to the skill we found at Lake Pontchartrain. See if this is the snake that was, uh, uh, there for the killing. Although, I doubt it. At least, looking at her, I wouldn't think she's one of the voodoo murderers. But you never can tell. The mask is made of carved wood and looks African. A glass lamp hangs from a chain over the table. Crystal ball? Is that voodoo? A large crystal ball is prominently displayed. The shelf holds a variety of unusual objects. The kind of thing Gabriel refers to as junk. And rightly so. Magentius bottles probably contain secret ritual concoctions. Or they're just there for atmosphere. Crystals. The Moonbeam Resident. It's a large cluster of quartz crystals. I'm sure they believe they have energy or whatever crap. I'm sure if we got uh, James Randi in here, he'd uh, be able to rant about a lot of this stuff. It's an old-fashioned parlor lamp, hung with crystal. The moonbeam res... Okay, I guess we should uh, interrogate Miss Moonbeam. But we will do so in the next video.